everybody. Hello, good morning, good morning. The sun is on this beautiful morning. Jerple's here. Newly vaxxed up Jeter is here. Getting microchipped to the 5G this morning, Jeter. Jeter, how is that? I'm getting my first shot Friday, I'm excited. I ticked the box that said any vaccine, so I wonder what I'm gonna get. Probably AstraZeneca. Johnson & Johnson would be chill. Just the one -er. I'd be cool with that too. It's kind of like choosing a starting Pokemon plus Eevee and they're all cool. And I'll make it so I don't die, which is sick. Who's that dude, our manager? Are you not aware of Floki Onvarsen? What? <laughs> How do you not know who Floki Onvarsen? World famous Danish manager, Floki Onvarsen. <laughs> it's just a super shady. Uh, he's just a super shady uh, Danish dude, Floki Onvarsen. I didn't actually realize you can come in here and edit this after the fact. I think we should change this to green for Viborg. I didn't know you could do this after the fact. I thought you had to do this ahead of time. There, now he's Viborg's own Floki Onvarsen. He's fully committed. <laughs> That's part of the charm for me. Like, naming, pl nicknaming players and creating a dumb-looking manager is part of the charm for me. I never create myself as a manager. I only ever... Sometimes I'll go into the pregame database, create myself as, like, a 15-year-old absolute world beater, but leave everything else random. Right? So I have no idea which country I'm in, which youth intake I was just a part of, anything like that. And I have to try and, like, find myself or what position I play. That's kind of fun. But yeah, Floki Onvarsen will lead us to glory. We've got some tea this morning. Just had a banana for breakfast. Make sure you guys are hydrated and healthy. Um, so this stream, pretty basic premise today. Look, we got five games left. We are four points, three points back in goal differential. We are three points in goal differential off Lingby. We got to find a way to sneak into the second spot. We're guaranteed to be in League 2 again. It just, you just got to find a way. We have two Lingbees, a Horsens, and an Esberg. The only easy, in quotation marks, game we have is Hellsinger. Um, yeah, three of these games are away. Away at Lingby, away at Esberg, away at Horsens. Can we do it? I have no idea. I'm not as confident as I was yesterday. Uh, I think losing to Colding or drawing Colding away here really sucks. That would have given us 49 points. That would have been a much nicer cushion. But we just have to <laughs> house a way to win. That's all it is. We just gotta we just gotta find a way to win. You gotta win some of these games. You gotta FM the other teams. We gotta figure it out. Right? We're pretty much guaranteed to not be below Colding, so it's really just whether we finish second, third, or fourth. I mean, maybe Esberg has some problems. Have they played Horsens yet? Yeah, let's not even look at this schedule. Let's not even look at this schedule. It doesn't matter. We're not in control of our own destiny right now. We have to win our games. All right, we're up. We're away at Lingby. When's Lingby? Lingby is in a f just two days. Jeez. Okay, two days. We're away at Lingby. Huam Jardi's hurt for one to two days. It's fine. Um. Yeah, I don't think we train. I don't think we train. I think you literally just recover and match prep again. Especially because you got the travel right here. Match preview. You'd love to do a match tactic session, but I don't think we'll have time for that. And I think that's just it. I think that's where we're at. I think we're up against Lingby. It's a tough game. We have to win, and then we two days until we're away at Esberg before we have a week off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, Jardy, hopefully you're all good. We're going to go back down. I could make this another tactic. I just don't really want to. We're going to back down to Cautious. We're going to lower the line. Um, I suppose use tighter marking is fine. 
We're definitely running the counter attack. I think you I think you go long. Who's our playmaker in the middle? I think you distribute it to the target man. I think you just yeet it up. Those are our options. All right. I think it's just a very simple, I don't think we have to overthink it. I think we just go cautious, bring the line back, try and hit him on a counter attack. I think that's what we're working with. I think that's what we can do. That feels like something we can do. Not as intense, shouldn't be as tiring. Hopefully we can, if we can pull out and shit house. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> if we, if we can pull off a win here. Maybe we'll be fine for the next game. It sucks in this situation to be the one behind. You'd much rather be the one ahead. God, only two days in between these matches, man. I mean, it's something you gotta get used to if you wanna ever play in Europe, but like our players are not that good. They don't have the stamina for this. Hopefully Huam Jardi with his two recovery days can fix himself up. Oh. T is so good. I ordered a new laptop, by the way. My laptop broke the other day, so I had to order a new laptop. And it was $1,700, which really sucks. Because I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> All my money is gone. Well, Kanderson, you're not playing on your loan. It's a nice laptop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, when I got this current laptop a couple of years ago, I just bought a nice one. It was fantastic. I had it for like four, four and a half years. The only reason I even bought it today, and I'm going to be real with all of you, is because I wanted to play football manager at work this week. I didn't need to buy it today. But I was like, well, if I don't buy a laptop today... So at some point, I'm going to have to leave the stream and pick up my laptop. I think that's going to be like two hours in. Hopefully, we can get through these six matches before that happens. I don't even know where my phone is. There's no way for anyone to let me know when my laptop is ready for pickup. They say in the email they're getting it ready. I'm going to choose to assume... I'm going to choose to assume that means they're like packing up nicely. They're like building it by hand. Oh, here we go. So Jardy was still on his language course. So he was still maybe a little uncomfortable. So now he can really start settling in now that he speaks good Danish. That's good for Huam Jardy. That's what I thought his problem was, is that he just wasn't settling in quite yet. So maybe he's going to go and have a world beater game this game. All right, after this one, I'm actually gonna go find my phone. I do need to know when this laptop is ready for pickup. I'm on a tight schedule today. Distribute to center, but, but, but distributing to center backs. I mean, we have good center backs. The problem is we don't get up the pitch quickly. I mean, it is, Groning is our target. I mean, he's also our king. Groning is also our king. Um, Putros is ready to go. Let's put Putros in for Shorzy. I think Brenz works best off the bench. He's really good. I think he works best off the bench though. Yeah, I think your play starts. Jardy, Groning, Antwi, Bond, Gordinho, Putros. I mean, you could also put Putros in where Bond is. I wouldn't mind that either, actually. Shorzy goes back here, and that way you have a midfield sub. Or you just start Bond. I think you just start Bond. I think that's my preference. Manu, Shoe Guy, can we fit him in anywhere? All right, Jardy, Groning, your plays. 
Shardy, Grottinger plays, Cap Circle, Yep, Bond, Antwi, Putro, Scordino, Shorzy in a game that's going to be very difficult to win. But we are trying. Why is everyone so upset? Lacks tactical familiarity, mate. It's the same tactic we've been running all season. Well, the second half of the season. Yeah, go out there and avenge ourselves. I have faith in you. Let's get the hands on the hips. Do the hokey pokey. Mostly everyone's motivated. Mostly everyone is motivated. All right. All right, V-Borg. Bye, Borg. We just got to score a couple goals and not let them score a couple goals. That's the whole name of the game. That's a terrible start. That is not a good start. I'm still clapping. Good Lord, this is a massacre. This is a massacre. I'm glad that tighter marking is paying off. Chat, this is not going well. Ah, oh, 0 0.08 on that too. That feels bad. That feels bad to concede that early one. Oh, not again. I think they're just better. I think they're just better than us, you guys. <laughs> I hate to be that man. I think they're just better than us. I can't really tell Putros to ease off tackles either. All right, we gotta hit him on the counter. Hit him on the break. Get the ball. Oh no. Good work, Alblas. He caught that one. That one didn't go in the net. Get there, Shorzy. Oh, Wom, you gotta run to the ball. Our team doesn't understand. The ball doesn't just come to you. You actually go and run to it sometimes. Oh, Groning is hurt. Groning is hurting and Putros is hurting. What on earth is happening? Yo. Yo, can we get a reprieve? Groning and Putros are hurting. Sick. Awesome. This is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Get that to Wom. Oh. One day, Wom Jardy will run to the ball. Go, Groning. That was not what I wanted from Huam. At least we have possession of it. That part of it's going well for us. That's what I wanted from Huam. Hell yeah, brother. That's what we wanted from Huam. Shardy. What a header. What a cross. Ladies and gentlemen, Wom Jardy, keeping us in the mix for now. Yes, we're proceeding with the tactical changes so our injured players don't die. All right, this is it. Uh, we're draw with less XG is exactly where we want to be. Yeah, you've been unlucky, I think. I think we played well. I think we've played well. Let's tell them they've been, or we've been unlucky. I think that's fair. We're gonna be a little less tired than them. They got some real tired players. Why? 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 FM gods, why right now? Why three in one match? We recovered twice. Ugh. And we've already brought Putros off, who's our sub. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Chad, I'm gonna cry. Why right now? Why in this match? Get that out. No, get that out. <laughs> oh, chat. It's all falling apart. The wheels are coming off the wagon. How does that land on his feet? Oh, who is that? Shorzy. Shorzy doesn't get there. What a kick. Yeah, we're giving them all the Pavel treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the double recovery was going to be helpful. When I thought about this game and I thought, hey, how do we make sure people don't get hurt? It was like, don't train unnecessarily between the matches. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we don't really have an option. We got to push for the goals. We can't make any more subs. All right, if we lose this one, we legit have to win four in a row. To have a chance. I can't make that sub. Mr. Coach, I'm out of subs. Oh, man. Can we, <laughs> can we just kick the ball to someone in our shirt, please? There we are. There we are. Get that up. Wicked to Jardy. Up to Jardy. Go home. Ah, good effort. Good effort. That's the kind of chance we're hoping to create. That's it. I think those are our promotion hopes. What a punch. All right, your plays. Ah, good effort. Good effort in the bottom corner. I think our promotion hopes are dashed. I mean, we were close, man. We were close. We, we played well, I think. Puts us six back with four to play now. Eleven days. I mean, we, we just roll again against Esberg, also away. I think we run match tactics there. You know what? I might have I might have just got caught in the moment. It might be five subs. It might be five subs and I thought it was three. Either way, I don't think I would have really subbed anyone. I might have put Brenz on. Who else was hurt that game? Putros, is he fine? And Groning, is he fine? You're right, you might be it might be five cheesecake, and I just got caught up in the moment there. I don't think I don't think the, the extra subs would have saved us. Oh, are we only asking? Yeah, we'll ask uh I mean we haven't got any offers at forty thousand. But if you think we can get three hundred thousand for him. 
and we'll offer him for 300,000. That really sucks. So we need Ling, we, I mean, I think we need, we need to win four. And even if Ling B drops two, even if Ling B drops two and we win four, they still have the gold differential by like seven or something. This is a tight spot to be in. This is a tough one. No offers for Jada. Of course there's no offers for Jada. <laughs> no one was offering at 40k. And we upped it to 300 because the assisting manager said so. I can't believe this guy's going to be a starter at Gladback. I mean, I like Brenz as much as the next guy. I don't think he's that good. I don't know if he's that good. All right. We're on match day. Yeah, Putros is out two to four. Antwi's out six to ten. This is so rough. This feels unfair a little bit, but... That's the way the world works. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, Brenz, you're starting. Let's get Wickham on there for Groning. Lauritsen moves up to cover Putros. Sorensen moves up to cover Antwi. And there we are. We still got Blendistreffy. We still got Blendistreffy who can come on and, you know, he's got some magic moments in him. I'm still going cautious away from home against Esberg. There were parts of that game that I really liked. There were parts that I obviously didn't, but. Hopefully Antwi and Putros can be back for Hellsinger. Is Lars Kramer fit? Is he back? Yo, Lars Kramer is super fit. What are we doing? Get Lauritsen out of here. And Kramer goes in for Sonnenberg. Hell yeah. There we go. That's better. Yeah, the Danes are faking injuries so they can go drink. Little, little do they know that the board put like a million dollars into a huge party if we get promoted. All right, I'm just treating it as we need to win four now. If we don't win four, we don't get promoted. Back to cure your newfound FM addiction or just to satisfy it, either way. Now, we're in a rough spot right now. We're just, we're just too far back on the promotion places and we're just stuck in this round robin of death where everyone's getting hurt. We're six points back. I mean, if we need to win out four and Esberg and Lingby have to like not. Blenda Streffy has already been involved in another match today. Did I send him on another match? I do not recall doing that. <laughs> Our man's a... God damn it, Blend! You weren't meant to be available for them! Blenda Streffy! All right, Alsanya Jada, you're up. Blend, no! FM is hard, you can't just nuke anyone until you win, correct. That is correct. People are generally more happy this game. 
So, at least the good news is if it's Lingby and Horsens that go up, if it's Lingby and Horsens that go up, they are the two teams that got relegated from the top league last year, so they're at least really good. They're at least really, really good. Manu Shuga, get that in the box. Oh, good effort. I mean, he did listen to the instructions. It did go directly into the box. We could use 1 million gold, absolutely. We should do one of them charity streams again so we can just inject cash into the empire. That was so funny when we raised like 70 million for Iceland. That was so good. And it didn't even help. We didn't even get to the Champions League the next two years because no one wants to play for you. So it didn't even really matter. Yeah, we're doing a quick uh, Tuesday morning FM stream to finish off this season before I go buy a new laptop for all my money because my other laptop broke. All right, Jakob. There we go. Get it up. Oh, come on. Move it up the pitch. That was not what I had in mind. But hey, if it gets up the pitch. Um, did I decide I went to the computer shop? This guy settles in. Once this guy settles in and learns Danish, he's good. He's learned Danish. He's speaking Danish. He's good. Um, no, I'm not just going into a store. There's a really good computer store near my house and I went on their website and they had like two laptops left in the location that's like a 10 minute drive away from me and they were like $400 off. God damn it, Gordinho! We're trying to win, Gordinho. Don't take the good hard efforts of Huam Jardi for granted, Gordinho. We're trying to win here. Um, they had a laptop that was like $400 off, so I checked it out. It's like mostly what I want. And I was like, that's perfect. I didn't have, I don't have like a brand preference. I don't care if it's like a Razer laptop or a Acer or a... As long as it's just like vaguely a gaming slash workplace laptop. All right, Brins, this is you, baby. This is all you, Brins. Boot it, Brins. That is seven finishing cap circle the third right there. Hell yeah, brother. That is seven finishing cap circle the third. Yeah, it was $400 off. It's $400 off the laptop. The laptop is not $400. It's like $1,700 is what I'm paying. Right? But I, 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 I like to buy something that'll... Like, my last laptop lasted me four and a half years. Right? And I paid around the same last time, and it was perfect. Yeah. It's like $2,100 down to $1,700 just because they have two copies they're trying to get rid of. I want to say it's some Intel version, some Intel i7 laptop chip. I don't know anything about the laptop chips. 3070 for the graphics chip. Or the card. I don't know how laptops graphics cards work. Like 16 gigs of RAM. Just all your normal stuff. Oh, uh, you did not miss anything and never apologize. No one ever needs to apologize. Ever, ever, ever. Um, we're 2-1 up. We need to win four games in a row. And that's where we're at. We're counterattacking. Things are going moderately well. And we're already playing cautious, very defensive mentality here, so we're not gonna we're not gonna change too much going late into the game to kind of see it out. We have to hope Lingby still has to play Horsens. Get that in. Oh so close. There we go. All right, sub time, 61 minutes. Cap Circle's playing at a 7.6 right now. I'm gonna struggle to take him off. He's playing unreal. Jakob Bond is not playing that great. Sorensen might be a good cheeky sub for him. Not with 30 minutes left though. 
Wickham is not doing anything. Oh boy. Oh, not a corner. We're the worst on these. Oh, he saved it. Oh my God, Alblast saved it. All right, 15 minutes left. Yeah, we're, we're making some defensive subs now. Gordino's exhausted. It is five subs. Whoever asked it was five subs earlier because I was being an idiot. Lower tempo. A little bit shorter passing. Let's just try and see out this game. We're up 2-1. Uh, they were doing really well, actually. I think they won their league in the lower division. Or in, like, the division they got relegated to. So I think they're getting promoted back to where we started. They, they had to get rid of all the players, though, and are super bankrupt. I'm surprised the club didn't, like, fall into financial collapse. There are very few players on the team that were there when we got there. Or when we left. Brands, put that in, please. The, the, oh, I just need the comfort of a two-goal margin right now. Darn it. This music is very intense. No! No, no! 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 Why are we incapable of not conceding two goals a game? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is 17 Canadian. That's true. It is 1700 Canadian. All right, now we just got to go full out. Sunset. We need the goal. Like, we need to win here. Oh, you're not actually good at this job. What job are you good at? You're not good at any of these. You're not good at any of these jobs to replace. Never mind, cap circle's going back. We're moving up. We're going up the pitch. Uh oh, <laughs> Ooh, a highlight. Get it out. Wait, what are they getting a penalty? Oh, eat my shorts, ref. Eat my shorts. Why are you making this game hate us? It's over, chat. It's over. The stream name is changed. Changed on all of my stuff. That is unacceptably bad. We just needed to be tighter. I don't know what to do because we were already playing cautious and defensive. Yeah, and that'll be it. Looks like it's fourth for us, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna go find my phone. I'll be right back.
Yo. All right, looks like it's fourth for us, ladies and gentlemen. We got to play out the season strong. We got to focus on the off season. We have some good players coming in. We were not quite good enough this time. I believe we'll be good enough next time. We're going to have to be creative. We're going to have to be selective about who we let go, who we keep, who we bring in. I think we're having a lower budget next year, which is unfortunate. We didn't even see if Lingby won their game. They're playing today against Helsinger. You would assume they'd win that. Yep, she gone. Oh, no. Can you hire the guy that scored all the goals in the other team? That's an idea. I mean, all the people we have coming in so far are really good defensively. We're keeping Gordinho and Antwi. And we're bringing in Stark Hedlund from Sweden, who's a really good defender. Who we found. We also weren't meant to get promoted this year. We were meant to finish third. So we're like in a, we're, we're just slightly underperforming. Loki Onvarsson's time in Denmark has not been um, an easy one. That is for sure. I think it's one thing. Oh, yeah, you go back to the B team, you're good now. It sucks that you come up to like train with the good coaches and you just get worse. Cap Circle is staying. We're keeping Cap Circle next year. He's only going to get better. Oh, boy. Hopefully the board gives us an injection of cash. Yeah, there they won. They won against Helsinger. Oh, dearie me. The club atmosphere is draining. The atmosphere around the club is uh, its not ideal. Hopefully we can get Brenz back on loan. I'm still not convinced. I'm not at all convinced that Brenz is a... Oh, can we ask for an affiliate again? Affiliate loans would be huge. Ideally from like Man City. Can we get Man City? Or like PSG? Board? Board, can we get Man's? We're, we're only we're only in the in the mud. Yeah, we're doing okay. They want us to gain promotion next year though. <laughs> oh boy. Um Hello, Mr. Boardman. I would like an affiliate. A senior affiliate. So we can get lone players to help us get promoted to the 3F Superliga. Once we're in the 3F Superliga, then we can get a junior affiliate, like Middlefart. Would rather the club does not rely on lone players. What are our options, Kim Nielsen?
I really can't stress enough how important I believe this to be. Oh, uh, Kim! Kim! Kim, why are you so unreasonable? Kim, senior affiliate equals lone players equals winny winny leaguey promotee. We just gotta draw it on a whiteboard. We just gotta draw it on a whiteboard for her. Hey Kim, my name is Floki Onvarsen. If I have better players, we might be able to win next year. You know how we get better players? An affiliate. Promotion hopefuls. We're still hopefuls. We are still technically hopefuls, ladies and gentlemen. The logic is too complicated. <laughs> Ugh, darn it. We are doing some heavy player searching at the end of this season. We are going to use every trick in the book to get a good squad for next year. I think we have most of a good squad for next year. With some of the players coming in. Depth chart. If we get rid of... We have the future transfers in. Like We got Stark Headling coming in. Like, we're starting with a base here. We're starting with a base of Alblast and Net. Really good center backs. We gotta work on this left back. Oh, is Antwi not coming back yet? Yeah, we're gonna work on Antwi here. Right, we've got a base to work with. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having Putros back. Makes 2.1 thousand per week though. I don't know if we can afford that. Ain't we at 1.2? He's wanted by Almir City. He is injury prone and that really sucks. Like big injury prone. But he is incredible when he's not hurt. What is our committed spending for next year? It's not 39,000. All right. We're gonna have to wait till the year ends, I think. Um, I mean, these guys do not have a lot of potential. I get that they are, like, free to sign. Like, amateur deals are just free. I don't want to give these guys 50 pound a week. These are this is not this is not significant potential we're talking about here. Fine, I'll do a couple of them there. That's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. I don't have a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. We still have to play Horsens and Lingby. Jeez, man. We still have to play Horsens and Lingby. Oh my god. I mean, we did well enough against the teams that are below us that I'm not too upset. We did do well enough against the teams that are below us that I'm not too upset.
right, we're going to pick our team on match day. I want to see how fit everyone is. I don't want to be dealing with any huge injuries. Patrick Rasmussen. Killing the game. Well done. Well done, Patrick Rasmussen. You're doing great. Oh, we have that right back coming in who's really good. Ling Liang Biu. Liang Biu. That's harder to say than Ling Bi. Ling Biu. Liang Biu. I just, man, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the accent. I need a Danish translator. I, why do I keep playing in these Scandinavian leagues? I should play in, like, England. Charles Smith. Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Uh, Groning, you're up. Friends can play. How fit is everyone? Everyone's looking pretty good. Kramer's on a yellow. That's fine. That is what it is. Antwi is still hurt a little bit. Putros is good, though. He's not really match sharp, but he's looking fine. So he goes for Sorensen, and then Blend is Streffy comes up. And if Blend can get that anticipation and concentration a little bit higher, my by golly, would he not just be amazing up front there? Is it just me or did a whole bunch of streamers drop, drop FM21 like a stone recently? I forget the last time I watched one. Oh, I haven't noticed that. All the streamers I watch in the FM space have kept going. Um, I watch Zealand. He streams a lot. I watch Work the Space. He still streams a lot. Um, Lelujo is like moving into a new office or something. I don't know many of the smaller creators. I watch Breezy. He's good. Sweet Left Foot is good. All the people I I tune into and watch every once in a while are doing fine. We're also in that part of the life cycle where people who weren't going to commit to it have dropped off. Right? Like, everyone who is ever going to create FM content will create it when the new game comes out. And you'll only, like, kind of get less and less and less as you go into the... Jeter, yeah, of course. Sorry, Jeter. <laughs> Jeter too, yes. Jeter, I forget easily because he streams at a similar time to me. And I'm usually at work or streaming. So I actually very infrequently get to tune into Jeter's stream. But yes, Jeter streams a lot. He's fantastic. Yeah, who else is the same way? Bose. Bose and Civ is the same way. I just never get to tune into Bose's stream often. Because that's when I like do my errands. Because I stream right after Bose on most days. So I have to do my errands and stuff while Bose is streaming. But yeah, in the life cycle, like when the game comes out, you'll have all your FM creators. And then they'll slowly drop off. You also have people who are like... Like, I'm very fortunate. Because I hit like all my streaming goals for the year. Like, this, like... So it depends how much success you're having. Like, it's easy for me to keep streaming all the time because like our, st our year streaming has been wild, right? We're just like going to the moon, we're hitting partner. Everything's amazing, right? If you're streaming to like, like five or six people and you, are you for real? Right, like if you're starting streaming and you're on month 10 of not really moving anywhere, that can be, or month seven, that can be like really What's the word I'm looking for? Frustrating, maybe? So it's not surprising. Because most people who stream FM are very small streamers. Like, if you go to FM, like, the other day I clicked on FM, there's, like, five streams with a total of 47 people in them. Right? So a lot of people that, that start streaming FM, the vast majority, are, are quite small. And that gets frustrating over a year, I think. Grotting. Get that in. That finishing, baby, that seven finishing is coming in clutch. One of the reasons you like the FM... So I stream FM at this time because most of the people who play FM are European. 
and need to be able to watch it this time. Which, you know what, is like the same logic I should apply to Civ. But this is also the time when other Civ people stream. Right? Like, TGM streams at this time. Um, so, I mean, maybe it's not really fair to the Civ people. Hey, that's a red card, ref. Get that in. Ooh. I'm excited for Huam, Jardy, and Cap Circle next year. Back in action, a year older, a year wiser. Gonna get us promoted to 3F Superliga. Never mind, Brands, you're offside like an idiot. Shame. You're offside like a fool Shame. and a scoundrel. Shame. We are murdering these guys. We are ruining their lives. It's also offside. Kate, can we have a rules training? Can we just do a training where we sit in the classroom and talk about the rules? That was a good save. That was a good save. The ball, like, pe I think people don't realize how hard it is to save a soccer ball, even if it comes right at you at full speed. Right? Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, jeez. Can we get that away from Alblast? Not in the right headspace right now for that play. We're not in the right headspace mentally to be passing it onto our goal line. Offside is too complicated. As a child, Jardy's offside, but good effort. Honest to God. Cap circle looks to score for both teams. Absolutely. All right, that's three offsides. Two of them were in. Oh boy, this is hard. We're at home. This is the Rip Middle Fart Stadium. We can't be losing this bad at the Rip Middle Fart Stadium. Oh, Groning is hurt. Why is Groning often hurt? Juan, please score this. <laughs> Juan Shardy, the man knows Danish, and now he's just in. I think Juan's ready for next year. He's settled in. He's learned Danish. I thought that might be the problem with him. And now he's just looking sexy. Now he's just looking sexy, Juan Jardy. I mean, he is... Okay, can we not immediately concede? Can we live in the moment for a minute? Thank you. Where is Wickham? Is that Wickham? Wickham? That's calf circle. Where is Wickham? Oh my god, Huami! Good effort. Good effort, Huami. It surprised me this far without Huam getting like a natural nickname. We're gonna have to find one. It's, it'll come to us. All right, 60 minutes, who's tired? No one's really tired, we had a whole week off. Kramer is one yellow card from being suspended. I normally hate that justification for not. I, I think at this point though, if we, can, if we can guarantee Kramer for the next match, that's worth doing. Ooh, good effort. I'm liking the effort from our team today. Yes, that is like baseball like that. If the ball ends up in the stands, the the fans keep it. Absolutely. There's um if you watch a pre pre COVID, they have ball um, people on the sides of the pitch all over the place, and then if the ball goes out of play, they'll just throw you a new one, right? So it's just like it helps with the continuity. With um with COVID, there's just cones all around the sides of the pitch where you can just pick a new ball up if it goes into the stands or if you just want a new one. Some people just want a new one. It really is the hope that kills you though, man. This has been rough. This has been sore. I just don't want to mess something that's not broken. 
I just don't want to mess with something that's not broken. Although it might be breaking. Like everyone is playing well. Sometimes, sometimes going defensive at the end of a game when you're winning and everyone's like going off tactic can be really jarring if everyone's running at sevens. Right? So you have to play it by ear. Normally I would start packing this game in, but if everyone's playing at sevens right now and I change something, um, that could drastically alter their performance. Oh, can someone run to it? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe this was the... Maybe you were right, though, on the whole. <laughs> yep. Let's pack her in, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I was not ultra-attacking. I was not ultra-attacking. I'm still staying positive, but we're going to start packing her in. Lower tempo. You want to keep that press up, though. All gas, no brakes. <laughs> That's right, all gas, no brakes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, sure as you get that in. Where is this Huam Jardy coming from? This guy is a suave mother. <laughs> Holy smokes. This guy has got finesse in his game lately. Look at this. Does he just bab it? No, nope. just places it perfectly. Oh my God. Oh, now he's on a hat trick, so I can't pull him off. He's still yell at me. I want to get his streffy out there. He's not really a target man though. Well, I'm the target man. We're swapping. Cool. Hey Zeus, that was incredible. That shot placement was nuts. All right, if we could not concede three on less than one expected goals, that would be nice. I'm hoping Stark Headland can be a real anchor for us defensively next year. Oh, what a tackle. Are you for real? Oh, thank God. The connoisseur of fine mannerisms, hell yeah. That's awesome. Blitchfelt. That's a cool name. Do we need to have this many highlights? Can we just end the game? All right, there we go, Jakob. Good stuff. Sure plays. Oh my God, that almost went in. That almost went in. All right, we need to redo our corner tactics for next season. I don't think we've scored on a single corner all year. And no one ever listens to it, so. Like, I think, I think we, I think we get promoted had we scored on like more, like more set pieces. Our set pieces is, are really bad. So we'll work on that in the off season. Get that up to blend. Blend is Streffy needs the ball. Get that up to Blend is Streffy. Oh, good effort. There it is. Blend is Streffy. Woo! It's two goals and an assist for Huam Jardy. This guy's getting sold for like 10,000 in the offseason because our board's going to hate us. But what a signing Huam Jardy turns out to be. He's going to be our leading goal scorer for the year. We'll take that. Why is this game still on? This game ended like an hour ago in my brain. In my head, this game ended like an hour ago. And we still have to play the two top teams one more time. One of them's at home though. Lingby's at home. Horsens is away, which is terrifying. 
Go blend. Uh, the blend doesn't pay attention. The, the ball has to land on blend's feet for it to work out. Good work, Sonnenberg. I mean, it's nice to get a game where we score five. All right, we're in front of the home fans. Can we not make that pass? Hey, I have an idea. Like, there's five minutes left. There's a minute left. Can we just not? Thank you. That's over. That's it, right? Ref, whistle. Ref, that's 45 seconds over. Thank you. 5-2 win. Yo. I mean, that was great. Look at everyone playing above seven. Juan Jardy. What is the... What is the word for king in Spanish? Google Translate. Someone's probably typing into the chat right away. Just Ray. El Ray. We're going to stick with Juan Jardi for now. But that, he, I think he needs a nickname after his end of the season. Oh, God. Esberg and Lingby are killing it. Yeah, we're... That's officially out. We are officially in... We're officially... We officially cannot get promoted. It hurts to know officially. El Rey did tacos. Best place for tacos. All right. El Rey did tacos. And we's coming back. Yeah, we certainly want him back. Who wants 1.7? We do 1.4. 1.7 is good for him. I just don't know how much money we're losing. Because the board seems to make us think we're losing money in the offseason. Which would make sense. Like our current budget is 33,000, but we're spending 39. Right now. Our committed spending, there's no way our committed spending. Is it really 6,000 over? Have we already committed to spending 6,000 over our budget? There's no way. All right, well, we'll figure it out when we get there. Horson's away. Oh, geez. This is going to be rough. This is going to be a rough match. Shardy got his goal bonus. Yeah, we don't really have the 4,000 right now, but hey, dude. Killing it, man. Absolutely killing it. Let's just go positive. Let's not even go cautious. We can't get promoted. Let's just go and try and make a game of it. Let's go and let's try and take the game to him. 
let's just let's just go at him. Let's see if we can go to their arena, pull off a huge win, get our morale up for next season. See if we can finish third, maybe. <sighs> One away from promote. I'd almost rather finish fourth so I could feel a little farther away. Oh, thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's just go to Horsens Arena. Let's just try and take it to him. How's Denmark, dude? We're, I've never struggled this much in Football Manager, which in one sense is very good for the stream. Yay, middle far! Yo! Middle far getting promoted back to where we found him. Bro, <laughs> look at that. Thomas Rode, the key player. Middle fart is up, they're getting promoted. So they're only one division below us now, which is perfect because we can send all our players to play for them. Oh my goodness. Middle fart, middle fart. I mean, we're going to loan all the youngsters to them we want to get playing time on. So they might get... Oh, if they get promoted to the same division as us, we'd be so happy. Would we actually be happy? But... Middle fart today, top fart tomorrow. Hell yeah. The goal now is to get us and middle fart both into the 3F Super Liga. Your B team just got promoted as well in Spain? Heck yeah. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? I have not committed that much money next season. Thirty nine thousand? Who are we paying? Yeah, we're going we're going straight to the horse and dome or whatever this dumb building is called. Uh is um Antwi back? Antwi is back in business. Bond is gonna fill up up here. Manu Shu guy is gonna fill in for This one's tougher. Get Wickham a start. All right, we're going. We're attacking. We're fighting them. Welcome to La Liga. Here's 450,000. Yep, that's how it always happens. All right, we're at the best team in the league. They're, maybe they're, they know they're getting promoted. Maybe they're putting out a bad side. I would love to finish third as like just a just a token of our. That's a bad start. Nacho Abolito is not a second division player. These guys are OP. That guy was running faster than like anyone on my team can run. This guy is running faster than the speed of sound. That is not a player that plays. Like, no wonder they're getting promoted. He's actually only got 15 pace and acceleration. That pass was also really nice. And the chest control, also lovely. Let's encourage the lads. You're out there. You're against a good team. Let's get some highlights. Let's get some... Get some points on the board. What a what a pass to Prip. Come on, Antwi. Back in action. It's been a minute. Getting that penalty. Ooh, good effort.
Oh, that's a penalty, ref. All right, who do we want to take it? Oh, Connor. No, Huam Jardy. Let's pad this dude's stats. Huam Jardy's taking it. Let's see if we can pad this guy's stats. He might miss it. But I want Huam Jardy to have a... I want him to feel good coming into the next season. He is signed for next season, right? Yeah? Yeah, Huam, you're here next season? Yeah, we're good. He's signed through next season. Until he gets sold for like a million. to Because the board sells him. Well, we came to Horsens and we got a goal. That's good. We'll take that. Our corners are actually the worst. We have to fix this next season. I tried fixing it this season. I couldn't do it. We will fix it next season. Yeah, we're already mathematically not getting promoted, though. Like, they're already mathematically... No. It doesn't change anything, because Esberg is still ahead of us, too. I think Esberg might be mathematically still in it for promotion, but we're not. Bro. Bro, who is Huam Jardy? <laughs> Where did he come from? Literally, he learns Danish and he just settles in. Like, that language course and his adaptability stat, whatever happened, is incredible here. Because, dear God. He's on another planet. I wonder if he likes big matches. Now, I don't know if this counts as a big match anyway, but... Boo. I'm not even gonna watch it. I'm not even gonna watch it. We're only focused on what we're doing here. We're only focused on what we're doing. Again, though, conceding two on a .66 XG, like, this has been a theme. Our defense is getting better next year. But there have been some pretty severe lapses in concentration. On the defensive end in the last little while, I think. Oh, the hat trick was almost there, baby. Colding is beating Limby 3 0. Jeez. Good work, Outblast, making that one look. I mean, also, we are only playing good teams, right? Like, maybe that's the difference is we are only playing teams right now that you would expect to outscore their XG. Whereas, like, all the teams you would expect to not score as high as their XG are in the other little round robin. We don't have a lot of other options right now. Cap circle, you're just playing, mate. We'll try and get some midfield cover next year, but... Playing three midfielders makes it hard to have depth at midfield. I right, get that up, get that up. Good work. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! <laughs> what? Oh my god! He's up to 15! Hell yeah, brother. He's up to 15! Jeez! What on earth? Oh, 
Bomb Shardy! Oh, Captain, my Captain! Oh, Captain, my Captain! What's well, too bad he didn't pick this up like two games before the round robin. That would have been nicer. I actually would rather Kramer get suspended in this match and miss the last match instead of the first match of next season. Penalty? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Is Swam going for four? Is Swam Shardy going for a fourth? Bro. That's four, baby. That's four. That's the Jardy quadruple. That's the Jardy quadruple. Wow. It's these little stories. It's the come up of Huam Jardy that makes playing this game worth it. Where did this man come from? Why is he so good only after learning Danish? Was he not like, did he not like kind of know Danish along the way? All Jardy, no breaks. That's in. Yeah, it sucks. All right, can we not throw this away right now? I am legitimately trying to... Yeah, let's waste some time. Getting a win at Horsens at home would be huge for the old confidence. God dang it! Thank God, thank God. Technically a win with a 10.0. Our first 10.0 of FM21 on Twitch. I wish this game was just a little more hyped. Oh my god, Lingby. <laughs> Lingby might not. We can stop Lingby from getting promoted. We play Lingby next. Oh my god. That has to hurt. That has to be hurt. That has to hurt for Lingby. If Esper goes up. So we are guaranteed fourth place. We are guaranteed fourth place. Fistad have been relegated. That's not surprising. Oh my goodness. What a win. Plum Jardy. Shades of Floki, man. Shades of Floki. Not, not quite the same level of reverence yet. But shades of Floki shining through there. I mean, we're, we're just running the bag. We're going to go and take the game to Lingby. They need to win to get promoted. I think it'd be cool if we could keep Lingby Bold Club in our division. I think I'd rather Esper go up. Why are we training for a week after our last match? That seems unnecessary. Maybe it just hasn't hit our training staff yet that this is the last match. 
Oh, there's two left. That's why. There is two matches left. Still can't get promoted, I don't think. If Esberg lose, okay. If we win both, and Esberg and Lingby both lose, both. There is still hope. Yo. I lied earlier. There is still technically hope for us. That four-three win. I mean, we need Esberg to lose both their matches, and Lingby to lose both their matches. One of those would be against us. They're playing Horsens and Lingby. I mean, look. Oh, but then if they... Okay, no, because then if Lingby beat them... All right, what do we need out of this last match to get promoted? All right, so so let's say Esberg lose to Horsens. They stay at 58. We beat Lingby. We go to 56. They would need to draw... They would need to draw... Because that would be... F no, because of the gold differential. We still can't get promoted. This is so complicated. I'm going to do the math here. So, Esberg loses to Horsens. They're at 58. We beat Lingby. We're at 56. They're at 57. Right. Then we beat whoever... Right, we go to 59 points. Yeah, there's no way. Because even if they draw, we have so much lower of a goal differential than Esberg. Nope. We're not getting promoted, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Huam Jardi's injured, so now we're definitely not getting promoted. <laughs> Yeah, Zardy getting injured at this point in my life sucks. After his worldly of a game. Okay, well, it is what it is. Blend Streffy, you're going in. It is what it is. Jada fills in there. I mean, we can't really in good conscience not try, even though we know we're, we're not getting promoted. Yeah, what we needed was Jardy to score 10 in the next game. We're going to have to start bringing all of these, like, 18-year-old trialists in. Just for free contracts to cover next year. Just have to win by 10 easy peasy. All right. When you put it that way. This is the kind of guy we might be interested in. If I'm already so far over the wage budget though, there's no way I'm that far over the wage budget with half my team leaving. I just simply refuse to believe that. Well, whose contracts are? We'll sort the off season out in the off season. Look, we're gonna set the off, we're gonna sort the off season out in the off season. No Jardy, no party. Blenda Streffy has to score ten goals this game. That's where we're at. Blenda Streffy has to score ten goals this game.
Linda Streffy with us for next year, though. Hopefully he can have a few cover games for Jardy. No Jardy, no party. That's it. Mario Stanich, our scout has completed a language course. No, because Pavel, S one of Esberg's games is against Lingby. So if Esberg lose both, it means Lingby has won one, which puts them at 60 points and our highest is 59. Yeah. So the, the game is keeping this 10 goal differential. Yeah, it's because if Esberg loses both, that means Lingby wins one. It's gonna be a tough off season though. I don't know, I, I, I refuse to believe I'm spending 39,000 already. Maybe the board just needs to come around. That the I mean, we, I mean, we're spending thirty nine thousand this year. I wonder what, what that. I wonder what the other teams are spending. I wonder what Lingby and um, Horsens are spending. Oh, we were actually meant to finish. I mean, this is this is this is um. This is low. Helsinger and Colding both really overperforming. Where's the spending? Team detailed? Yeah. Okay, where's spending? Salary per year. Oh, <laughs> we're we're top <laughs> chat. We're we're spending the most. <laughs> There's a little bit of egg on the face. We're spending the most per year. Whoops. I mean, I've only signed very few people. Our attendance is also second highest, which is weird. Cool, all right. Well, that's a little bit of egg on the face that we're spending the most money in this league. No wonder we have financial issues. All right, let's go and win a match against Lingby. Yo, Bond starting what? Shut up. Shut up, Twitter, dude. I like how many different places I can put my arms when I tell people I have faith in them. You can put your arms in so many places. Oh, yep, come on, man. I can't really tell him to ease off tackles. That's kind of what he's doing. He's a ball-winning midfielder. Oh, Bond, you could have put that Twitter dude to bed. You could have put that Twitter dude to bed. What? Offside, good. That was a sick goal, though. Yeah, hug them. Like, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. One at a time or a big group hug? Ooh. 
Who can save Alblast? That's not Jardy's not up there this game. That's uh Blendis Streffy. You may have heard of him. He's 17. He's from Kosovo. Um, he's not Jardy, but he's trying hard. That was close. That was very close indeed. There it is. Good play. Get it to blend. Good shot. That's about as much as you're going to get out of that play, I think. I think that's as much as you're going to get out of that play. Oh, blend. I thought he had that. I thought that was curling in. I mean, it sucks that we're out XGing all these teams now. Like, now that we can't get promoted. What a pass. Gordinho, good effort, but, like, you're not getting that. Gordinho's not getting that. That's it. Oh, you just know whenever someone beams it from the top of the box, it's going in. I'm surprised that one didn't. That seemed like the perfect play to go in. All right, Cap Circle, you put in a good shift. Yeah, you can just do that, Shorzy. You're fine. You're fine. Shorzy's coming in for cap circle. Let's see if we can pull a goal out of this game here. I mean, I, maybe there's a monetary value for finishing first rather, or third rather than fourth. Oh, silky smooth. What a save. What a save from Alblast. That was silky. Esberg beating Horsens would guarantee them promotion. Groning has just been useless. He had the, he had those few games. Yeah, those few games where he was our king. We needed we needed Jardy. We needed Huam Jardy. I think that's where we let where we let up a little bit. Offside, get out of here. Read the rule book. Uh, Lingby, you have to, uh, you have to be, um, behind all of my players, uh, when he, when Moose kicks the ball, uh, warming, uh, that's not how you play the game. As if Jardy wasn't offside five times the other day. All right, Connor Wickham, you've done absolutely nothing since we signed you. Oh, Connor Wickham might be one of those guys that's counting against the 39,000 because he's here till December. That's another thing with Dane, Dane Land that's weird is that you have some contracts ending in December and some ending in June, and it's silly. So I think all the December ones are probably counting against that committed spending. Oh, 
Well, we, we got a draw. It wasn't our day. I think it was fine. It was fine. It was all good. And there it is. It's official. It's up to Esberg and Lingby now. But we are officially fourth place. Oh! How much money are we getting? Board, give us enough money. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back and we'll finish out the season and see how much money we're getting. Yo. Let's finish out this season strong. Groning vows to end gold drought. Wickham finding it tough. Is he through December? Yeah, he he's playing through December. That makes sense. That makes more sense. He's playing through December. I get you. 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 I understand what's happening now. That's why he's counting against the committed spending. So at, in December next year, halfway through the season, we'll, we'll be able to really retool. Going into next season, it's kind of just this squad minus a couple of people who are leaving with Stark Headland coming in and a few youngsters. Like Blenda Streffy will be around the first team next year, I think. Owlblast was great. I think he's a good keeper. Not very eccentric, but I think for this level, he gets the job done. I think he'll look a lot better with Headland and Gordinho in front of him next year. We should try and keep Antwi and Putros. I just don't know <coughs> exactly how to do it. We have a month to think about it. Look, I don't really care about Kanders, and I'm not gonna lie, he's done in the month. Four to five weeks. Sorry, Sven. Sorry, mate, the physio, the, the one physio is gonna have to take care of you. Our singular physio is going to have to make sure you're doing good.
The average team will suffer between 50 and 70 first team injuries per season. That is unreal. That is an unreal amount of injuries. Al Blast has now complete, completed the language course. Yeah, we need to really get to that B minus level that we're comfortable with. I think B minus is a very Icelandic level. Which teams are... Middle Fart have won the division. They have won the third division title. Caleb Crawdad still putting up some bonkers performances. This Australian center back that we loaned in is still there. They're really just running with like a, a ragtag, a Hong Kong, a four caps. <laughs> they have Hong Kong's national team keeper. Middle Fart has Hong Kong's national team keeper getting paid zero pounds. What is the series of events that leads to that? What is the series of events? Kyle J is still there. I don't even know how that happens. I don't fully understand how that happens. I expect Kim Nielsen to put some money into the club in the off season. There's no reason our board can't help fund us. Cap circle, now's not a good time. We have one game left. Cap circle's not playing. We have one game left. I just want everyone to play. Keep scouting. Keep scouting him. If only we had a senior affiliate, you guys. Hear me out. If only we had a senior affiliate. So that when we're in financial trouble and we need to find some players, then we can use that senior affiliate to get some good players for free that don't cost any money. Because they're coming from our affiliate, which makes it free. Promotion joy for Esberg. So Lingby is staying down. Lingby is staying down with us. The plebs. Lingby has joined us in the plebs. Down in the second division. Esberg making the most of their promotion round robin. Which is awesome for Esberg. We love to see it. Esberg promoted to the 3F. Who is coming down from the 3F Superliga? Just click right here. Silkeborg is coming down. 
And it looks like Kog Kog is coming down. I guess. Kog is coming down. Midgetland, Midgetland, I don't know how to say that. Champions League, Copenhagen, Europa League, Conference League spots. Ab and Bronby. Oh, we have a player at AAB right now. How have they been doing? How have they been doing? Where's our main man, Frank Larson? Dude, this is our right back next year. Our right back next year is 16 years old. He's so good. We have until 2024 as well. Our right back next year is 16 and amazing. And getting paid a good wage. 600 pound a week is affordable. Oh, I didn't know I improved the Cubs club's coaching staff, but hey, you know what, Juan? Now he's 20, just had a birthday. I think. Or maybe he turned 20 just a little bit ago. I mean, this guy is... Should be put on a rehab routine to recover. Can you do that? I've, I've, I remember hearing about that before. How do you... How do you put someone on a... Rehab routine. Can you go to one second? Is it here? Wait a minute. Where is Juan Jardy? Oh, did this not include... This doesn't include injured players. I'm interested on how you do that. I'm interested in how you... Put someone on a rehab routine. Additional focus? Is it rehab? Oh, injury rehab. You literally go to additional focus. Yeah, it's just additional focus. I found it. So when he comes back to training, you just put him on a... I getcha. I getcha, I getcha, I getcha. Alright, cap circles hurt. Bomb jardies hurt. Oh, jeez. Let's just quick pick and see what they come up with. Your plays up top is interesting. We'll give him a game at striker. Man, this shoe guy is not a Metzala. I guess he's what we can do for now. No, Burger's better at being a Metzala. You just chill here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's just roll with it. It's the last game of the season. Last game of the season. Let's just see what happens. We're playing Colding. We are guaranteed to be fourth place. I expect a, I expect a good effort. Let's change it up. I expect a. I mean, these guys are not really vibing well. The good effort talk. I'm 
I'm really hoping we can find a way to get a higher wage budget next year. Especially if I've already accidentally spent 39,000 and the wage budget's gonna be 33. That is not ideal. Also, we're going to, have to think about our tactic for next year. Do we keep it similar to this one? I mean, it's certainly got Huam Jardi going. This tactic has been better than the other ones we've had. It's had its moments. I think it's a little weak defensively. I think we leave a lot to be desired here because our midfield has to push up into those spaces. I think it's a little weak defensively, but other than that, it's had its moments where it got Groning going for a little bit. It just turned Jardi into a superstar once he started clicking. There we go. Sure place has got it. Or not. That kind of looked like it might be a highlight. And then it kind of wasn't a highlight, which is lame. All right, Groning, your place. Just put one in. Yeah, I think it leaves something to be desired. I will say it was an improvement, though. We improved in the second half of the season once we started using this tactic. I think it does leave a lot to be desired. I think the main thing I actually don't like about the tactic, there it is, Brens. No, that's the wrong, whoops. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> The main thing that's not working is the target man. The 4-3-2-1 might be in more interesting. We'll talk about it in the offseason. We'll talk about it in the offseason because I think there are some things that, about it that are working. I think it leaves us a little exposed at the back and the target man is pretty useless. So maybe just running with the wings. Also depends on the players we have because we, we don't have a deep bench of talent to pull from. Mostly everyone's playing well. I'll just leave them. Yeah, let's actually swap uh, Kramer off now because he's not... The yellow cards aren't going to carry over to next year. All right, Wickham, you're getting your time at the very top of the... the you're leading the line. Let's get Gordinho off. I just don't want him to have a late injury. I want Gordinho to feel good. He can go play for South Africa in the off season. All right, let's see this one out. Groning for a streffy, that's fine. Lower tempo. I'm surprised the fans of um wow, how do we not get back for that? Really? You're going to give up this win in the 87th? What happened here? So the tackle kicks the ball right to... Who's this guy? Oh my god. Oh, and then he just doesn't follow him. Well, that's super lame. We could have won that match and we didn't. All right, we have a lot to figure out in the off season. We finished fourth, 55 points. I like that we didn't like get super close. Oh my goodness. Look at this, same points, same goal differential. Same points, same goal differential came down to the head to head. 
Came down to the head to head. That was incredible. All right. Time to change the stream title to... Pre-season two. We're in our first preseason of Denmark, where we are not changing teams. The new arrivals, Quam Jardi better get a huge this set in Freeman. Yeah, board's happy with where we finished. The the cup did not go well for us. But that's totally fine. Esberg promoted, Horsens champions. We finished right where we thought we would. Makes perfect sense. Biggest win, 4-0 against Hobro. Match to remember, 4-3 against Horsens with Jardy getting all four goals. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What a performance. Goal of the season. Top quality st strike against Hellsinger. Oh, that just happened. Can we watch that? I would like to watch the... Why does it not let you watch the goal of the season? The finances... Oh, we're looking bad. The finances are looking bad. Everything is going down. We did, we did get a slight increase in match day rev. Wickham actually sold the most jerseys. <laughs> Wickham has been here for three months. And he has sold the most jerseys. That is disgusting. Where is the love for Jardy or Gordinho? Oh, Pavel. Oh, Pavel, how we miss you. How's he doing at Bate Borisov? He's made one appearance at Bate. All right, we're paying out our bonuses. Frank Larson's going to be coming back. Playing at a 672 in the upper division. This guy's going to be a stud for us the next two years, Frank Larson. Overall best 11. We have Clinton Atwe makes the overall best 11. Club vision. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Our best 11 of all time. Atwe, Kramer, Gordinho, Putros, Lund. Jardy, Shirk, Sladzga. I guess these are these are people from the the team before we got here, and then Pavel up front. All right. Oh my God! Oh God Almighty! Please, yes, we are getting thirty nine point five. Yeah, Pavel, we sold you to Bate in Belarus. For 120,000. 125,000. It was at value at the time. It was a good deal. We, then we, we used that money to get Connor Wickham, who <laughs> sold all the shirts. So, all in all, a great deal, you know? Club visions and expectations. Ooh, they're changing the expectations. Finishing the top three places. All right, we're back. We're just back next season. We're just back next season. That's it. The wage budget is normal. The wage budget is normal. Yeah, we're perfectly acceptable target. Everyone's happy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do promises at the end once I know what the squad is like. New season team report. Connor Wickham hopefully settles in a little bit more. End of season break will be through July 4th. That's perfect. Christian Wagner lifts the trophy. 
Wow. Good stuff, Christian Wagner. Prip was the player of the year in our division. All right, guys, we're just back in action. Committed spending is just over the payroll. The season hasn't yet ticked over. All right, we have some big choices to make. We have some big choices to make. Who's leaving? Who do we know is leaving? Whose contract expires? All right. All right, so let's start here. Clinton and we we want to try and bring back. He's making 1200, he wants 1700. Manu Shoe guy. Making 1500 per week. I think he's probably gone. 29 years old. I think he Fringe player in his prime years. He's not comfortable in big matches. He's inconsistent. Unlikely to improve. I think he's someone we set for release. We have loads of people. Yep on the hill, 31 years old. High work rate, still a leading player. I think Yep stays if we can keep him. My only worry with some of the older players is the wage. Right, how much is Yep gonna want? Cause I think this is the kind of player you keep around for one more year. And he's a team leader. It seems like we're going to need a bit of a midfield overhaul. Because I don't think Yep will be able to play every game next year. I also don't know what our tactic is going to be. I think Christian Sorensen is gone. Yeah, we'll set him for a release. Although he's more a casualty of just not having... He's more a casualty of just not having left wingers. I'm shocked he's getting first team at Gladback. All right, let's see if we can get that senior affiliate as well before we make too many choices. Jonas Nissen is training well. He's still not first team quality yet, but he's getting closer. There's nobody really coming up here that can just fill in. Mad Sondergaard is interesting. He's currently not operating at the level though. I think you try and get Mad Sondergaard on alone. So there's no one really in our under 19s that's gonna get some first team time right now. Cool, so I think we need to focus on Clinton Atwee first. A committed spending being this high. Yeah, 16 year old goalie that's slower than the post.
Transfer window doesn't open till the 15th. Stark Headland joins. He's really good. We're not paying him 4,000. Or are we paying him 4,000? No, this is his Bronby contract. Yeah, what's the contract we offered him? It's way less than that. Oh, no, we offered him 4,000. I did offer him 4,000. I mean, he should be considered a good player for the, the league above us, so... That's where our wage is going. Found it. I found it. It's a great player. So what that means is we have all these players we need to try and sell. Let's put a list of players together we might want to sell. Players that aren't on expired contracts. I mean, Connor Wickham is the obvious one. Yeah, he just showed up in the scouting and I was like, yeah, we'll take this guy. He wanted to leave his club, so he was happy to go anywhere. I think we try and get rid of Wickham. I don't think anyone will take him. If, I mean, he can stick around if not. See if anyone bites. Yoon's Bakis. I think he's someone we keep around if we have a left wing next season. So we just need to fit pick our tactic before we can decide on him. Sebastian Groning. I think 1.3 for a fringe player is not is not enough. He does meet he does meet some registration requirements though. I think Jada is someone we look to sell for sure. I think Blendestreffi's coming up and he's getting better at what we need him to get better at. I think Alessania Jada is one where we, we go and try and sell. Just to clear up this 1.5 off the books. Let's list Jada and see what happens. What happens if we list Shada? There's no one else we're really that interested in. But I mean, he's only going to improve it if we can keep Putros. Putros is he's just not keepable at 2.1. We also have a sick right back coming in, right? We also have a good right back coming in. Lorson's coming in. So maybe Putros does go. I think I think you gotta really focus on keeping Clinton Atwe though. Antwe, this guy is nuts. I think this is a player that's good enough to get us to where we need to go. I know he wants 1.7, so let's go at 1.6. The injury is a bit of a concern, but. I 
Does he get the clean sheet bonus? He does. Let's add a clause in here. Uh, if we get promoted, add bonus if we get promoted. If we get promoted, I'll give you 7.5 thousand. Cool. Hopefully that means we can keep Clinton Atley. All right, we're gonna have some fan dangling to do. Let's make sure we have our young players kind of scouted out here. Not the free transfers. Just some of these guys, right? Like a fullback that's gonna not cost a lot of money. Like this guy is the kind of guy we're looking for. Fluent in the language. I can't scout all the way out here. I like that you're scouting Sweden, my dude. Really do. All right, that's fine. I mean, our transfer budget might as well just be our wage budget, right? There's no reason to, to change it at all. Oh, there's no reason to leave it as is. We might as well just move it over. Record low number of league defeats for middle fart. That's what we're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are talking about. I think this is a good point here to leave it off. Actually, I can go pick up my laptop now. I can go and do some laundry and get ready for work today. So we'll leave it here and we'll do the whole off season on um, Saturday morning. Saturday morning, we'll try and do the whole off season in one stream. Um, I don't want you guys to miss a thing with the off season. I want everyone to see everything, kind of see where we're going, what we're doing, what the team's gonna look like and all that stuff. Um, so I think we'll do that in the off season next time. Is there anyone on Twitch we can go say hi to? Anyone we can go say hi to? We can go say hi. There's no one really playing football manager right now. Louis. Wando! What's up? Friendship. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do a raid next time. We'll do a, we'll do a raid next time. Um, I need to find more. We can go say hi to Burley. He's not playing FM, but we'll go say hi to Burley. All right, let's go say hi to Burley. Done and done. We're going to say hi to Burley. Thank you everyone for being here. We will do this store. We will do the off season in the next stream Saturday morning. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And we will see you next time.